Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Magnus Centre here in Rotherham. With me, I've got two absolute superstars. One in the making and one on the verge. Kel Brook, Anthony Joshua. I'll start with Anthony Joshua. How are you, Anthony? I'm all good. Enjoying the boxing tonight. Good show. What's it like to be standing next to two legends, like me and Kel? It's amazing. Like, <laughs> on the edge of glory, July 7th. And I wish him all the best. And Coogan iFilm London making it happen. All the best to you as well. That's it. What can you say? What words have you got to say about Anthony Joshua, Kel? I can tell you one thing. Uh, this kid definitely, definitely, definitely going to win a, a gold medal at this Olympic. Everyone's talking about Joshua as the next big thing. All the promoters want him. You know what I mean? He's just chilling, checking the summer breeze in Sheffield, training hard, and he's definitely going to capture a, a gold medal for us. Don't, don't, no doubt about that. Wow, can't get a, a much bigger compliment than that from uh, the special one, Kel Brook, Anthony. Most definitely, man, and uh, I'm going to back up his words as well and make it happen. We're, we're in training camp now with a few countries. We just popped down to watch a bit of boxing, and I'm glad to have caught up with Kel as well. I'm wishing him all the best for the 7th as well. All right, Kel, I know like your time is money, so uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to just carry on talking to Anthony Joshua. Big up. Thank you very much. I'll catch you soon, yeah? Take care. Right, Anthony Joshua, my God, <laughs> Olympics is a approaching very fast. Yeah. Um, this Spencer. Ma Spencer Firon, just get involved, <laughs> just get involved. Hey, what, hey, what, yeah? What? Hey, Darren, Darren, quick, man, quick. Listen, man. Hijack. Listen, I'm not hijacking nothing, I'm just passing because we got a jet, because we got to catch a train. Yeah. I've got I to take my little girl ballet tomorrow, and if I don't, then United goes, baby, so baby, baby mom dramas, United goes, United goes, United goes, United goes, United goes. United goes. But no, hear what? Anti Joshua is the future. You know what I mean, I told my man about this for a long time. Lennox Lewis was saying, right then, phone, I should phone Lennox Lewis right now, but we haven't got time. Because Lennox Lewis said, listen, I want to talk to this boy. I want to advise this boy. Lennox Lewis was saying that to me. When I told Anthony, thought I was joking. I told you first, Coogan, and Coogan thought he was And Coogan's losing weight, man. Look at that. Growing his hair looking handsome now. Man. I don't know what's going on, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> seriously, seriously. And like, hey, what? Big up. You know, hard knocks come down there. Unfortunately, we come second best. Yeah, you know I mean, but our second best was the best at the time. Yeah, you know I mean, after big up um, Navid Monsiri, big up Nathan Graham, Dave Caldwell, put a hell of a show. Start bringing dancers now. I wonder where you got that idea from. Wow. But you know what? I'm hard knocks for life. Peace, two fingers. I'm still the best dressed man in, in boxing. Even when I dress down, I dress up. This you air is the future. Trust me on that. Stay motivated. Stay focused. You don't need no more new friends. Yeah, you know I mean, you got enough friends. Stay. Trust me. The gold medal is yours. You gotta to visualize to materialize. I believe in this kid. Coogan believes in this kid. I'm hard knocks for life. Peace, two fingers. I'm out. Uh, best of luck to, to Del Miles and Curtis Woodhouse. Darren! Everybody wants Darren Amateur right now. Everybody wants Darren. It's, it's kind of weird. So I'm just taking over the whole thing. Darren, quick, say it. Bust a little thing. Bust a little thing. I'm not busting nothing. I got nothing new fresh. I ain't got nothing right, fresh. Right, right. There you, you go. go. You look like the again. Oh, British, like champion. British champion. Darren Hamilton. Hard knocks for life. HK Fuel. Yeah, big up yourself, big up Spencer Phil, big up Harry Eckendale, big up my trainer Harry Andrews, who works me really hard, makes me train on Christmas, makes me train on my birthdays. It's all about it's all about training hard and staying fit for fights and taking it unexpectedly and being new champ. You get me? Big up myself. Yeah, I mean, and, and dressing rather, rather dashingly. You know what I mean? But right, yeah. right, yeah, thank I'm you good. very much. <laughs> right. See you that one, Harry. This is a mad interview. Kel Brook, Spencer Fearon, Darren Hamilton. My God. You won't ever do an interview like that before. Hijacked by Kel Brook, Darren Hamilton, British champion, Spencer Fearon. We're in a still city right now and the atmosphere is amazing. Like um, I didn't expect it in all honesty, but it's good to get out and see this. But the atmosphere here is 10 out of 10. Um, I've never been to the Magnus Centre before. This is um, my first time here and it's, it's a brilliant venue. And Dave Caldwell's putting on a fantastic show. Um, right. You, yeah. are you feeling the pressure? Tell the truth. All honesty, no. Because it's not here. I can't put the pressure on myself yet, but don't get me wrong. I know what's out there and I know there's only one thing that I want to achieve, which is why like, the pressure's on myself due like, in training. Am I, am I improving? How much weights I'm lifting? How much running I'm doing? Is my jab getting better? My balance? That's mainly where the pressure is, is uh, my progress. But you know what, Coogan, it's, uh, I've got another couple of opponents in front of me that I've got to conquer and I'm sure, I'm sure if I'm fit and I've worked hard and I haven't left no stone on turn, nothing's going to change in that ring, you know, my defence is going to improve, my attack's going to improve and everything 
God willing, it's going to come together come uh, August the 1st when my first bout is. Do you know what, Anthony? We spoke about six months ago when we had our little uh, drive around Watford. Um, talking to you now yeah. on camera for the second time, it's exactly the same. I've got yeah, the same yeah, feeling yeah. as I did back then. You don't seem like you've been phased at all by whatever uh, publicity surrounded you. So you seem grounded. That stay hungry mentality is still there. I can see it in you. And like I said, you just you go there and do your thing. But that's it. We're, we're, right now we're on that stay hungry and stay humble. We've added to it now. And, and that's a good one. Stay yeah, humble, yeah, yeah. definitely. Because you've got to keep your feet on the ground. And, you know, I'm blessed to be in this position. Even though I haven't achieved everything that I want to achieve out of boxing. But, you know, I'm just blessed to be where I am right now. It's because it's come from nothing. And uh, I've just grabbed the opportunity. I'm working with you lot, with Rob, with all these other boys, with my coaches in London. It's all like, it's all been a bigger portion and it's all coming together now. So that gold. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can throw that in the mixture. We was one off at the World Championships and I'm praying I'll make it right come the Olympics. I just want a one word answer to this next question. Obviously, I don't want to go into it, but have you thought at all about after the Olympics, yes or no? Yeah. OK, listen, I'm not going to ask you because that, to be honest, ain't none of my business, but I just wanted to know where you are with that, whether you, you're looking a little bit about after what you're going to do after the Olympics, but you've answered that, so I'm not even going to go into that. But um, who's here? Tell me the Olympic boys that are here today. Right now, we've got Anthony Fowler, the main man who hooked up my tickets. We've got Tom Stalker, the head captain. We've got Callum Smith, the third scouser of the team with Fowler, Stalker, Smith. We've got Joe Cordina, the Welshman, Luke Campbell from Hull, and it's me, so we all come together to enjoy some good boxing. By the way, where is my tracksuit? You sold it, haven't you? You know I've got you, you know I've got you, you know, don't worry about that. You know where I'll I live. Wait, you. Well. Wait, you I don't do know where you live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I just, the last thing I want to talk about, yeah. obviously I saw you uh, on Sky Sports chilling with Will Smith. I, I, can't even, I can't even get that Big round Willie. my head. Uh, but you were chilling uh, with Will Smith, this is what you're going to get used to. But what was that like? Just tell me what that was like. You know what, he, he's one of us. You know what I'm saying? He's come from Philadelphia, a rough area. I'm not saying that's got to do with anything, but we all come from the same place and he set his mind on something and he's achieved big things but you could all i could see with will smith that he's still the same guy you know what i mean he was cracking jokes took him on the boxing pads and uh, he loved every minute of it you know what i mean and that's what i liked about will smith he's a good man good heart Make your way to your seats. Thank right. you. Jose Burton's on, so uh, we'll go and enjoy get back to him. Anthony Joshua, thank you very much for talking to I from London Good again. Respect, and listen, yeah. we'll be chatting a lot over, over the next few months. Most definitely. Stay hungry. Stay humble. That's it. Coogan Cassis, Anthony Joshua, thank you very much. Thank you.